It is finally here. We get to take our first look at the full release of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and if you've ever wanted to own and operate your very own car garage, then this game almost allows you to do it with you taking command of a gas station in order to make money by repairing everyone else's cars to bring them in uh, for service or full restoration. And of course, then you make that money to make your showroom and your uh, maintenance shop much better. This game, by the way, is coming out on August 11th. So for me, the wait is over for you just a little bit longer. So add it to your wish list on Steam. They haven't made another a year to Car Mechanic Simulator since 2018. So it's been a while. There's been other spin-offs and other games like Car Mechanic VR and whatnot. But I am excited to play this one in its full. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe because, hey, if you've watched this far, big alert. I have an extra key to give away for this game before it releases. So if you go ahead and comment down below on what your favorite part of the game is or part of the channel or any sort of awesome positivity, even just say hi, I will go ahead and pick somebody out of the comment section and or possibly somebody on our Discord too. If you're active over there, go ahead and start chatting about the game and I'm going to drop some keys for you. I think it'll be the easiest way, by the way, for me to get you a key. So make sure you join the Discord after you make your comment. Links down below in the description. And without further ado, let's take our first look at Car Mechanics Simulator 2021. As a side note, I'm also going to be streaming this game probably today. So make sure that you check out that stream too so you can see the game in more depth. All right, let's go. Car Mechanic Sim 2021. Woo! Oh, I was about to jump into the gameplay, but this is amazing. They have a sandbox mode with unlimited money and a fully upgraded garage. That's insane. That means there's no more story mode. And so if you download a DLC, you can just immediately import your cars that you got from the DLC or whatever you want to do and start working on it without delay. And of course, there's also the easy mode too. So if you want to still play the story mode, you can do that with pretty much everything unlocked, but still having to go through all of those missions. I think we'll play that so we can see all of the uh, stuff today without delay. And then we'll do a normal mode when we do our full playthrough but also there's the expert mode that has a double xp gain that is awesome that is so good all right let's jump into easy mode and see if we can start car mechanic simulator 2021 finally guys finally let me be the first to welcome you to car mechanic simulator 2021 this is your new garage take a look around and get to know your new workplace you have at your disposal an old adapted gas station with its surroundings complete orders purchase and renovate cars and expand your garage good luck well thank you very much hey check this out we've got ourselves a gas station with a garage attached to it and we got a tow truck too that's awesome and of course we're on historic route 66 auto repair and of course gasoline here at our good old gas station that's fan that looks beautiful i am so happy that we get to be outside i think we're like arizona or nevada i'm not sure exactly where route 66 goes but this is beautiful and the fact that we can leave our like little closet or eventually like a large hangar from previous games and go outside is just absolutely amazing now one thing i want to see and i talked about this in our previous videos too on this game is that i really want the gas station to be something right i want to buy upgrades for the gas station and for the interior and to be able to sell products to use it as supplemental income for our bigger business the auto body shop is not cheap to run neither is a gas station but all those funds from here could go over to here so that way we can make massive improvements and make even more money so i hope that's something to do in the future but check this out let's go inside the garage and take a look it's beautiful outside let's take a look on the inside and by the way take note of this look at how quick the loading screen is it's literally two seconds to go in and out of the garage that's really flawless and seamless i love that i don't love the bus here though there's a big mess of all sorts of explosive barrels and tanks and boxes and trash and garbage everywhere and obviously we're gonna have to clean this out in order to buy another maintenance bay right now we start with one we've also got ourselves a wheel balancer and a bunch of tires and other equipment around here as well as a opportunity to expand our hq our business our uh, our command center if you will in the future check it out though lots of nice tools laid out half of these things i don't even know what they are like uh, what's this thing here huh what I don't know what that is. But hey, we got our computer here so we can order parts. We've got our phone over here so we can take jobs. And of course, a radio that we can uh, use any time to change the music. Now, let's take a look out back where there's some promising stuff going on. There's a little construction site here that I noticed. And I'm hoping that this isn't part of a DLC or something, but that possibly we could build like a, I don't know, maybe this will be a car wash or something we can use in the future again to make more money, perhaps to store our cars. I don't know, but it looks like somebody's gotten busy here with a concrete mixer, wheelbarrow, and a skid steer. And there's a large building here too. I don't know everything about the game yet. This is our first look, but man, it's quite promising to see things like this. I'd love to turn this into our, maybe a house or something like that, remodel it into to a sweet modern home and put a lot of money into, uh, you know, things other than working on cars, like living life, you know? That'd be super cool. 
looks like this is an alternative way to get into the garage when we expand it. But let's head back in and take a look at our first garage uh, order inside our wonderful shop. And again, the outside is just wonderful. Thanks to the devs for actually doing that. This is, uh, it means a lot more to actually be able to walk outside. It just feels more real. I don't know. All right, let's jump inside and take our first job. And let's see what it is on our trusty old red telephone. Hello. Looks like we have a Luxor Barone and a Mayan M3 to work on. This one's got uh, what seems to be, what, brake problems or something? Or oil change? Something. I don't know. Let's let's take this first job, though. I kind of like this car a little bit more. Let's go ahead and take this order, uh, which seems to be that it needs repair. Oh, change oil. Okay, that's a simple one. Let's do that. And I assume we'll teleport to the, whoa, the car that is absolutely dusty. Man, they have never heard of the word car wash. But this is really cool. We can actually take a look at the car outside. So we can kind of do a little bit of minor maintenance out here and inspections before we bring it on in. And uh, wow, windshield washer reservoir is completely empty. It looks like I can see right through the thing. But hey, that looks really cool. Now, eventually, remember, we can buy cars like this or get them at auction. And uh, there's also actually in the map uh, a junkyard and a barn. So we can have barn finds. We can go to the junkyard and pull out old parts or old cars or get them on auction and then fully restore them and sell them or race them at the racetrack. So this is a racing game. You can also do test driving and you can park them elsewhere in your garage and, and uh detail them and change the colors there like everything you can do with a car you can almost do here including the interiors now also if we uh, take a look at our shopping list which we'll have to go inside for in just a moment but let's go ahead and see if we can uh, bring how do we bring this car inside i'm not sure we'll do that in a moment but i do want to show one thing here we're going to throw this thing on the rack and get it lifted uh, so we can go ahead and start doing the oil but this is really cool community car body shop that means we can have custom made aftermarket parts so if they ever do like a ford dlc uh for like classic mustangs or something Thing like that that or maybe uh, old uh, uh, dodge vipers or something whatever you're into they can do some custom parts onto them as well as some possible future dlcs which will be amazing and of course we could do all sorts of things like uh, tune it up you know change the transmission add different tires all sorts of body work and electronics so that's really cool all sorts of aftermarket and improvements for our cars to make them better and of course to better suit our customers right so let's get this car inside, and then we'll go ahead and see. Actually, look at this. We can just take off the part, or we can open everything up and look inside. That's really cool. They put in a real good amount of detail here that we can see in pretty much real time. Oh, is there a body in there? Oh, no. Uh, nothing. That's uh, uh, no, no, nothing. Totally not the mob or anything like that. Okay. Well, let's get this car inside, and we'll get her on the uh, little rack there and uh, see what we can do. That car looks cool, though. I like that. Boy, I'm getting uh, casino vibes right now. You guys? Uh, okay. Huh. Maybe it's just me, then. All right, so now we got the Dusty Duster inside. If uh, we right-click here, by the way, we can go into a photo mode. We can take a look at all of our orders that way, our inventory. And there's a lot of stuff you can pack in your inventory, too. So if you ever buy uh, parts accidentally or want to do maintenance on old parts, if somebody wants new parts and refurbish them to somebody who will take them, you can always store them in your garage. So that's really cool. So we got all those things that we can do. Also a tablet that we can buy in the future and a lovely shopping list, too, that we can take a look at. So, for example, if there's a part that we want, like let's say we want to buy, uh, I don't know, a front left fender we can press x on any of these parts and then we can go into our thing here and it'll tell us everything that we need to buy if we're doing a maintenance job on it it'll keep easier uh, track of what we're doing we can also right click on the car and we can go out on a, a like a test drive we can examine the car all sorts of other things uh, car status like for example uh, the color variance for it or what year it is or the rim size or the condition of the current car that type of thing this being a 1977 model etc etc but good Lots of information, lots of details. They've really made all the improvements that I wanted to see in uh, the previous uh, games as well. So that's fantastic. Let's get this up in the air and let's go ahead and see if we can drain the oil and get some uh, new oil in there. All the way up now, if you don't mind. There we go. A very uplifting experience for this car, I'd, I'd imagine. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right, so we've got our little oil thingy with Jake over here. I think that's the uh, technical term for it. Now, of course, the oil drain. We'll move that over to the uh, car lift A. So it does look like eventually we'll get car left B unlocked, but we'll probably have to pay some money for that. We'll see what it takes to uh, get upgrades for our shop and take a look at what other upgrades we can do shortly. All right, let's go ahead and drain this oil and then we'll get some new oil in there. So let's see here. So again, remember in this game, you can pretty much do maintenance on everything from tire changes to rim changes to exhaust, uh, transmission, you name it. You can almost do maintenance on it. If you're a big fan of my summer car, this game might be for you because there's a lot of different things that you can toy around with. Maybe not in so much detail and frustration as my summer car, but definitely along the same lines. All right, so I think we're looking for this right here. Uh, so I think we need to uh, zoom in on this system. And uh, right there is what we're looking for, the oil pan. 
which I think we can just remove the oil by doing uh, this here. If we go to additional tasks, yeah, drain tool, we can drain fluids. And then of course we can then drain the oil uh, from the, yep, from this thingy, uh, if you don't mind, sir. Or maybe we can just do the button here. All right, let's go ahead and try this then. Ah, there we go, we'll use this equipment instead. Perfect. So, but there are multiple options. So we know we can drain fluid that way or we can do it this way. The other way I just showed you is for other things, but oil is much more simple than I thought. But by getting lost, we have new discoveries and that is exciting. Well, the old oil is out of there. So let's go ahead and move the equipment back to the, uh, back to its place over there. Fantastic. We'll bring the car back down. Now I'm also assuming, I know it's horrible to assume, but uh, you know, that the uh, game has put the uh, oil plug back in place, and then we should be able to add more oil to the car. Now, it also looks like they really badly need that windshield washer fluid, but if they didn't order it, we shouldn't do it because that might not be something that they want. Other tasks the list provided, though. Oh, looks like we had some other cars parked outside, too, or that we can get parked outside. Uh, these are the other cars, so let's go with another older model. Damn, do I love cars from the 70s and 80s, though. They all look so cool. I love it. Let's go ahead and see if we can take this order as well. And that'll be parked outside. I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself with multiple jobs, but it is cool to look at this. What do you guys think this is? Is this a Volkswagen Golf? Or is this a, um, maybe a, well, I don't know, a, a maybe a Datsun of some sort? Maybe a, a Mitsubishi? No, maybe more like a, a Nissan, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, let's go back inside. We'll take a look at that one later. But now we've got two jobs to do, so that's good. Now, let's get that oil back in then, shall we? So we got to find ourselves the uh, oil on the engine. We can just go ahead and click on the engine here. We'll work our way over to the boom right there the oil fill plug and go ahead and take that off then so we right click and we can mount parts or we can disassemble parts in this case we just hold left click and boom comes right off now this is where all the pros come in i'm no pro with this but you know you basically got to put in the right amount of oil and it'll kind of tell you by pulling back on the yeah, on the jug a little bit and then you just got to basically make sure you're good and top it off like that excellent now, i think that's pretty good nice Okay, so that was everything that they wanted so far. Let's go ahead and take a look at the job list and see where we're at then. But I think we can go to, uh, let's see, our garage. Well, that's where we are now. Let me see if I can take a look at the uh, job here. If we go to our job list, shopping list, inventory, car status. Let's see if this is all done. Uh, let's see, our mission. Oh, it can also be found in a barn, a junkyard, or an auction. So we can actually buy this car too. Oh, damn. Very nice. I like that. All right, well, there's our uh, mission with it. So we've got the uh, oil change completed. Oil change, drain, and refill with new. Job complete. Other tasks. Oh, man, they want a lot of stuff done. So we definitely got to change the brake fluid and the power steering fluid and the re... Ah, I noticed that, the windscreen fluid. Very good. Not to mention all these things, too. Man, he's got a whole lot of jobs to do. Man, okay. And tires. All right, we'll get on it then. So let's go ahead and uh, have another uplifting experience for him. That's cool. So make sure you click on that so that you don't miss out on any of the other missions. What seemed to be a quick oil change job has now developed into something even greater, and I'm happy to see it. Right, let's start with one thing off the list at a time then. So our current order for this car, and we have to go to the car status. Uh, so it's uh, brake pads. So we probably should remove all the tires anyway, since they're going to be uh, requiring all four new tires, brake pads, and also I thought I saw something else too. Uh, just the power steering and brake fluids, but that doesn't have anything to do with the tires. I mean, at least in terms of directly. Well, you know what I mean. All right, well, let's go ahead and get all these off then. So to disassemble, all we need to do is uh, left click on the tire, and we should be able to enter this mode. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Well, I'll get all these tires off, and then we'll start work on the brakes. And then we'll start on those fluids too. Let's go. Hey, check this out. There's a couple of uh, nuts that are a little tight, so we got to loosen those up first before we take them off. Very cool. A little variety to the mundane task of removing the tires. All right, then we'll have to move on to brake pads now. After we uh, do this, we'll work on to fixing those tires. we got to take those calipers off and then pull out the pads. So we'll do that from well behind here. I guess we can go through the car a little bit. There we go. And remove the pads as well. Perfect. And we'll do the same with the other side then. All right, good to go. And calipers off. And the pads are off too. Fantastic. All right, so now we got to order all new parts for that. So let's go ahead and make sure we do that. We need to make sure we buy parts for the correct car. They need new pads. So let's go ahead and go to uh, car parts, main parts, and we'll type in pads. Now, mostly in this game, pads are the same. Uh, we can go ahead and usually buy the same pads for all cars. 
just for simplicity purposes, they didn't have to put in a thousand different models for all the different cars in the game. So that's kind of nice that they just did that for simplicity purposes. But there are many different uh, things in the game for engines and whatnot. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put those on. Perfect. Yeah, so for example, if you're buying a transmission belt or something like that, you can definitely use those on uh, like three or four different cars. All right, if it's anything like the previous game, that is. Oh, didn't want to take that off. My bad. Throw that uh, ventilated disc back on. There we go. Throw the brake pads back on. And we also have to put our caliper back on, too. There we go. And excellent. Back in place. All right, we'll get cracking on the tires here in a little bit. I'll get all the fluids taken care of, too. And we'll see how we're doing. All right, let's go ahead and get some more things out of here. So uh, we need to refill the windshield washer reservoir. That should be pretty easy. We'll do that now. As we get ready to take out the fluid for the brakes, go ahead and add that fluid for the windshield wipers. Pretty close. And that looks about filled, but we'll just make sure. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Careful, careful. All right, all done. This time around, we got her to the max line, just to make sure that's 100%. And then we'll make sure the same is done with the brake servo, so we'll drain that too. Just to show you what the uh, what we saw before the drain tool looks like, it's just like a large syringe that comes out, pulls all the fluid out, and then you just pop it back in. Luckily, uh, we can do the basically fill into the brim with the uh, brake fluid, so that's good since we'll run that again. So, all right, all good. Next task. All right, so all the fluid is taken care of. The oil is taken care of, another fluid. Now we're just going to start working on those pumps, oil filters, air filters, and the tires. Let's get it done. Here we go. Okay, so it is time to get to the oil filter, which I think is on this side of the car. I'd seen it before. Uh, oh, there it is. Yep. So V8 oil filter right there. So we'll go ahead and take that off. Perfect. Now, of course, you don't want to do this without uh, really having the oil out of there. It might be a good idea to drain oil, then do the oil filter, then put it in there. But, you know, it's just a game. However way you would do it, there you go. Okay, let's go ahead and get this down. We're going to take all the parts out that we need. The reason for this is to identify what they are, so that way we can order the right ones back on the shop. So we're going to take this two-carb air filter out. Now that we have the oil filter, we'll get the air filter out. And we also need to find ourselves the fuel pump, I believe. So that's another thing we need. Now, here's the fuel pump hiding all the way in the back. Luckily, we have one of those ready to go. So yeah, if you're looking for the... It's kind of easy to go into disassemble mode and then like use the exhaust, click on the exhaust, and then it'll bring you to the back where you can see the fuel pump, which uh, is next to the fuel tank in the trunk. So we'll go ahead and add that one there. Got ourselves a fresh new one ready to go. And I'm glad she's up in the air for this because now we can also start working on those tires. So everything else should be complete. Let's take a look at our list. We're getting everything done. Everything's uh, being done correctly. Just the four tires remain. Everything else has been filled up and uh, screwed on tightly and ready to go. So as for the tires, we need to bring them over here to, I believe, the uh, there's a separator, right? So the wheel changer. Oh, we can take parts from it, install, or separate parts. So uh, let's see. We want to separate all the wheels from the rims and give her four new tires. Now, whatever tires those are, we can see when we get them in our inventory, and we'll know which ones to buy and which new ones to install. So we'll take that part, and of course, we'll have to do this four times. So we'll make uh, you know, a couple more of these, and then we'll start installing. All right, so from our inventory, we can see there are 21575R15. So we should be able to order four of those. Another good thing would be to do this from our tablet. What we would be able to do is just right-click and be able to do it from there without going to the computer. So we should be able to pull up the correct tires then. So we got the fuel pump that we added. Uh, so we want to do tires now. So we got to back out of this store by going home and to tires and tires. <laughs> both spell uh, spelling in uh, both Englishes, I guess. So uh, let's see, it was a 215, right? So we'll type in 215, and we should be able to order them in, uh, I guess we order standard. Let's see if we can order standard, and then, uh, oh, I see. So this is where we'll need to order. So we'll go ahead and go with, uh, let's see, we're going to order five for a spare. No, we're going to order, we're going to order four, and then let's see. Uh, so the other numbers were size, width, and profile. This is something that always throws me off. So I'm going to have to make sure I double check all of the stuff before we purchase. So let's make a note of it if we can. Can we press X here and add a note to our shopping list? Let's see if it actually did it, if it'll note it there so we can see it when we're in the menu. Uh, so shopping list is here and view notes here. Okay, so it doesn't add the tire. So we'll just have to remember that's a 21575R15. So 21575R15 or 75. Okay, so the, I wonder what the difference between the two standards are. So we want size, 
Let's see, 215. So we can go all the way down to 12s and all... What are the biggest tires we can get? I'm just curious. 25s. Wow. We're going to be doing a drag race pretty soon. All right, I'm going to figure this out and get these ordered. For those of you who know tires, you'll have no problem here. Okay, well, I think we got the right ones. I hope, anyway. We got ourselves 215.75s. Did I do it right? 215.75. Oh, my God. Did I do it right? No way. <laughs> no way. No way. Well, we'll see when we try to install it. It looks right. But anyway, the, the way I figured it out is working in reverse. It's something that always throws me off, too, because uh, in this game and in many other places, they kind of list it in, like, a reverse order. Uh, where when you look at the tire profile, it's it's just listed differently online or in, in systems as it is other places for inventories. So it's totally fine. All right. Well, we figured it out. I hope. Pinto Blast down below in the comment section. Now, again, if you watch this far, again, I have a copy of this game to give away. If you're watching this uh, day of release, congratulations. And let me know uh, you were, like, first or day one or something down below. That's another great comment to have. And add that Discord to the top of your list. Add it to your favorites. Get on that Discord. We got giveaways to do. All right, that should be all the tires. Then you can show me how it's done, right? Okay, part mount. Oh God, dear God, no! Wait, we have to add the rim. That's why. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, we're missing something. Wait, let's try the front. Part mount, standard tire. Oh, of course, because we have to do wheel balancing. Ooh, it actually takes that into account. Good. All right, so let's balance. Oh, wait, what the... It's a mini game. Wait, what? Balance. Oh, I see. It's a little mini game. Oh, so it takes as long as you can do that. Okay. We'll have to do that times four. Now, it's kind of weird because it tells you you don't have the necessary part, but what maybe it should say for people like me is that uh, w balance wheels first is what it should say. Nobody wants it on balance tire. There we go. And one more. Well, I hope this works. And it'll be fine. Perfect. Hey, there we go. Nice, and this is the rim that's at 72. I guess it gives an overall score based on what the rim size, or what the uh, rim quality is versus the durability of the tire. Okay, that's nice. Now, in this game, it doesn't matter if you, you know put things on properly. I, I don't think it'll take into account whether or not you do it the correct way or if you just go like this way, you know. Obviously, you're supposed to do it one way for a particular reason. If anybody wants to comment on that, go ahead as to what you do and why and what the consequences would be for not doing that. But we'll go ahead and do it that way. Perfect. All right, we're coming towards the end then. I really hope uh, we had a good run with this one. Oop, wanted to put the tire on though, Chief. There we go. All right, Dusty, we're almost done with you, my friend. Now yeah, let's go this way. All right, everything should be in place. Let's take a look at the car for the car status. Green check marks all on the right side. Green check marks all on the right side. Green check marks all on the right side. And we can finish our order. Come on, let's go ahead and bring her back down. And let's step outside with her, too. There we go. Oh, I opened the uh, trunk, too, by the way, to see if we could see a uh, spare tire or anything else to interact with. But I assume it's just going to be a, just a trunk. I don't think there's much else we can do with it. Oh, there's different garage entrances. Let's see. Oh, there's a parking area. I wonder where that will be. Now, it could be on the premises, too, but it looks like there's uh, two places to park it, A and B, and then a spot over here, and then perhaps an area in the back or something to park it, too. Maybe maybe that'll be a parking area back there in the future. All right, well, I'm going to get to uh, working on this other car here very soon, but uh, that is it for this job, ladies and gentlemen. I'll turn it in and get the cash, and I'll see you later today for Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 on PC on August 11th, and I'll see you for our live stream later today. Make sure you don't miss out. I got some wonderful goodies to give away to all of you. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for the positivity, support, and awesomeness down below in the comments section. Look for those positive comments and make them boil up to the top. Smash like on everyone else. And thank you very much for smashing like on the video. I'll see you guys next time. Click or tap join to become a member. Don't miss out anymore on daily giveaways on the Discord of games like Chernobylite, Hell Let Loose, and much more. 
and I'll see you all next time. Dude, my email's overflowing with developers sending me keys, and I want them out. And I want to give them to you guys for your support, so I got to get rid of them and give them to you. Enjoy. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. I'm going out for, uh, I'm going to go find a five guys. Can I hitchhike? Let me see. Hello? Anybody? Oh.